dear friends, as you are all aware that the sexual harassment, sexual assaults on young girls, children is increasing by the day. And we had uh, the few, a few weeks ago, uh, Kolkata, where uh, a doctor was assaulted, brutally murdered. And that has become a big challenge to the government itself to handle. Honorable uh, Justice Sivanyanam, uh, who is the Chief Justice of Kolkata High Court, and our uh, uh, from our uh, Madras High Court, took it very seriously. And it is because of the uh, seriousness with which the Kolkata High Court took up the matter, uh, Honorable Supreme Court took a sua amount of cognizance of the same. It's when that is still fresh in our minds, continuing with agitation, we find that in Krishnagiri, a 12-year-old 8th standard student, along with 12 more uh, children who were attending a, a NCC camp managed by one fellow, uh, has uh, assaulted one girl. And the girl and uh, seem to have harassed the other 13. And uh, that matter uh, uh, was uh, uh, sought to be suppressed by the school principal. And uh, later on, what happened is when the complaint was made and when the investigation was taking place, the accused uh, uh, seemed to have uh, ran and then died. And his father also committed uh, uh, suicide in a suspicious uh, circumstances. Mr. Surya Prakasam, a public spirited person who filed a number of cases in the best interest of the society, in particular in the Tamil Nadu, uh, took up this matter when the earlier National Human Rights Commission took, up, took it up. and But he sensed something is wrong uh, because it was possible the entire act could have been done by some big uh, uh, beasts who are in the name of human beings and the cover of the human beings. And uh, the suspicious deaths and then suppression of this entire case to close down, uh, he suspected and moved the Madras High Court. Uh, the Honorable Chief Justice, Acting Chief Justice, uh, uh, Mr. Krishna Kumar and Justice P.B. Balaji immediately took up this matter. They analyzed this uh, in all his earnestness, sensitivity, and Within a week's time, the matter is disposed of by uh, appointing a sit special investigating team. And uh, Mr. Prakasam uh, filed for compensation. See, the sexual assault is not one-time job because it will have serious uh, trauma, psychological impact on the growing child. And this is a very serious matter. And therefore, the Honorable, uh, the Learned uh, Advocate General of uh, Tamil Nadu, Mr. P.S. Raman, uh, very sensitively, amicably handled the entire issue. Uh, he took it as his own problem, just like the uh, AP Suri Prakasam. Everybody took it up. and But here, this is not going to uh, stop one judgment, my, my friends. We all have to be sensitive. We are now we are reading like some news item and then we are forgetting. And uh, we all have to react as if it happens to our near, near and near, near and dear. What will happen? That should be uh, the movement has to start from the people and not expecting every time uh, the judiciary. Uh, it should be that is where the public spirited persons like AP Suri Prakasam who did a lot of petitions. And if you see the judgments delivered based on his petitions by Honorable Justice Prabhagran, a very good effect uh, came, impact on the society with the proper results in the uh, by the government, within the government. Uh, now, dear friends, uh, let us all appreciate this is a matter of uh, great importance that we all have to join. The enlightened person should not leave it as if somebody's job Somebody is doing, and we are reading public interest litigation, the importance and the impact as a tool. It is being misused also. Therefore, 
the court is must many times disappointed in spending time by wanton litigants and so therefore uh, public causes and uh, judiciary will always be at our uh, help this is what uh, this is mr ap suripatasan and uh, honorable learned uh, advocate general mr p s raman who handled it in a very uh, very amicable manner and uh, and realized that it's as if it's his own case like mr suripatasan and uh, and dear friends, uh, apart from this, uh, I have been preparing the many judgments, important landmark judgments delivered. I want you all spread it to young lawyers. Recently, we published the constitutional validity. How to prepare for constitutional validity based on my experience of filing about eight petitions. It is continuing uh, for young lawyers. Uh, who doesn't have much formal education uh, in the top law schools. And we have dealt with the landmark judgments delivered by a Madurai bench, uh, Justice K.K. Ramakrishnan, sir, and uh, Section 375 landmark judgment file delivered by Justice Dandapani and uh, Justice G.R. Swaminathan's recent speech on environmental jurisprudence, how it has developed uh, this is worth reading. Uh, Justice Anand Venkatesh, uh, series of lectures in particular on property, uh, constitutional right, fundamental right, constitutional right, and compensation. The juris entire jurisprudence was discussed, it was published in um, Hindu. Anita, uh, Justice Anita Sumanth, Madam's judgment on Sanatan Dharma. Uh, we, were, uh, we discussed in different uh, approach. Uh, on that uh, should say, uh, judgment and uh, many series of judgments and we are very happy to see the latest judgment of honorable supreme court with regard to fundamental rights article 21 uh, bailey's rule and uh, jail is exception uh, reinstated that concept uh, uh, which was uh, pml even for applicable to the pml cases so i would all request uh, uh, the uh, people to spread it to the young students. Thank you, dear friends. And, uh, uh, and dear friends, we are coming out with a series of about 10 uh, uh, videos of half an hour each on the constitutional validity uh, up to Supreme Court, right from the division bench uh, to the Supreme Court, how we are ap approaching it, what are all the uh, plus and minus in arguing the case, the legal strategy, and the court crafting techniques, etc. Thank you.